Remember when your morning newspaper and the coffee you drank with it were each a nickel, when cigarettes were a penny apiece, and when a five cent candy bar cost just that and not twice as much? Well, out here in Irving, they're beginning to remember the 10 cent telephone call. This morning, you could put a dime in that telephone and call any of 1.2 million people in the metro area. This afternoon, though, Gordon Stevenson fixed that. That telephone call now costs 25 cents. But Irving is not the only city affected by the conversion from a dime to the highest local pay toll in the country. It's getting more expensive in 16 municipalities around Dallas served by General Telephone, although a future court decision could nullify the rate hike in Garland. Officials say they can't remember the last time someone congratulated them on hiking their rates, and two people who happened by today were no exception. We're going to go broke. <laughs> sure enough. <laughs> you use this phone often? Yes, I do. <laughs> sure do. You don't. You don't have a phone in your apartment. No, sir. Maybe if this rate going up to twenty-five cents a call, I doubt I'll be able to afford it. <laughs> General Telephone expects some drop in the number of payphone users at first, but officials say that figure should return to normal. They anticipate the higher rate will bring them $300,000 in new revenue per year. Actually, the Irving City Council was the initial uh, a group that proposed putting the 25 cent rate on the pay stations in order to give the residential user in the Irving community a bit of a break on his increase in our uh, recent rate case. That is, uh, the Irving residential user will get a little lower rate and uh, the pay stations will be a little higher. The 25 cent fare got its start at the new airport, but a quarter there puts a caller in touch with any one of about 2.4 million subscribers. A quarter in Irving or Garland or any of the other 14 towns due for an increase will let you call no farther than you could for a dime. Rayburn Matthews, Channel 8 News.